Coon Cassis, IFL TV, MTK Global and Liverpool here for Battle on the Mersey, the public workout. I'm joined by Paul Butler. Certainly. Not much, just a little shake out there. Um, feeling good, fight week, so ready to go. Absolutely, not long to go. Obviously, we're Monday, only the start of fight week, so uh, five, five, six more days and yeah, showtime. Ready to go, yeah. Um, been a good camp. Uh, I know there's been a few rumours out there saying I've had a bad one, but... We'll see, we'll see. What are these rumours? I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, rumour I've had a bad camp. Uh, sparring's been terrible, been dropped in sparring. Been dropped once in my life, and that was at the Echo against Tete. Um, God's honest truth. Uh, never been dropped in sparring in my life, so if he, if he wants to go to bed, getting confidence from me having a bad camp and, and, and me getting dropped in sparring, then fill your boots. It's like a, a big mythical thing about sparring, isn't it? Unless you're there joke, and you watch something, the stories that go around... As long around, as you see it with your own eyes, then it's just all yeah. talk, isn't it, really? Um, um, do you believe this Saturday that you will end Stuart Hall's career? 100%, yeah. Um, I'm a different animal now than I was three years ago. I was a baby then. Super flyweight. Um, you're definitely going to see a good Paul Butler on Saturday night. Um, proper bantamweight. Punching a lot harder, game plan behind me. Um, it's not just outboxing, I'm going in there to do a right job on him, and that is to end his career. Obviously, you've made notable changes to your, your career over the last six, seven months, promoter wise, trainer wise. Um, is it all working for you at the moment? Yeah, um, probably the happiest I've been um, in my whole boxing career. Um, my promotional change, uh, I've got a path to where I'm going. I haven't had that for a long time. Um, probably f two, three years. Uh, I haven't had the path to see where I'm going. If I win this one, I know where I'm going. But I have now an over, an over beach to we all. I'm boxing Jamie McDonnell. If we were to beat Jamie McDonnell, look at the look at the big fights out there. You've got Ryan Burnett boxing on it next as well. So there's potentials there as well. Mm, a lot of options there and a lot of the good fights to be made there. Yeah, yeah the bantam weights are flying, especially in Britain as well. So makes sense, doesn't it, to, to keep the titles in Britain and let us all box for them. And people must not forget that you are a former world champion yourself. Yeah. It seems like a long time ago you it, won that world it title. It does. Um, I think everything came a little bit too soon for me. Uh, I flew through the super flyweights. I boxed with Stewie Hall in my 16th fight, won the world title. Um, it might have been a little bit too soon for me. Um, obviously getting beat by Tete and then my career just stalled. Um, own fault of mine, failing weight at super flyweight in a world title final eliminator. Um, and then pretty much done nothing from there. Uh, there was big fight talks of Jamie Conlon. There was big fight talks of Jamie McDonnell as well within the last six, seven months. But nothing's come of them. So now I've moved, I've moved on trainer, moved on promoter. Things are looking good again. All right, well, listen, we'll catch up with you at the press conference on Thursday. I have a train back to London to go and catch in 20 minutes, so <laughs> I'll get you that. in before I went. Uh, yeah. Paul, yeah, like I said, we'll see you at the press conference on Cheers, Thursday. Mate. All right? Appreciate that. Top man.